so there's this amazing little Indian restaurant by where I live and I always order the chana masala with the naan bread and it is so delicious. Uh, but I'm making this meal prep with rice because it's a little healthier than the bread that's deep fried. <laughs> but I'm still trying to perfect the, the actual like chickpea sauce part of it and I think I got pretty close. So here are all the ingredients you're going to need. First you got to cook your rice and make sure you stir it so that the rice doesn't stick together. You can even add a little bit of salt to the water. And then chop up your onions and garlic and add that to your pan and now it's time to add the spices which are the most important part. <laughs> uh, garam masala is is a must because it gives it that actual taste and then I'm adding ginger uh, I'll link all of the all the ingredients in the down bar uh, and turmeric so I'll probably do this in a food processor but I don't know why I did it in a blender tomatoes and peppers because you want to kind of leave it chunky and chopped up um, the way I did it was I blended it up till it was really liquidy like a smoothie, but it still turned out good. It would just be better if it was chunky, so I added the oregano there, some flax, uh, threw that into the onion and garlic mix, and then I took a huge can of chickpeas, added that in as well. And this normally doesn't have any lentils, but you know, extra protein and just extra, you know, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm adding some more spices because I thought that it would taste better like this curry paste it says butter chicken which is not a vegan title but it is as you can see the ingredients are vegan so really misleading but in a good way and I'm adding all those spices in the spice I added before was mixed vegetable spice you can even add it a little bit of salt it brings out the flavors but not too much and I added 1 4th cup of coconut sugar now this actually makes it taste really good you want to cook it until it's boiling and then put it in a separate bowl or container that you can store for the week for lunch. Now time to make my uh, fudgy energy things, energy bars. <laughs> my parents literally love these and I wanted to make a chocolate one because my mom loves chocolate. So about 15 dates or 10, I don't really, yeah. Uh, Chia, hemp, cranberries, goji berries, all the good stuff. Throw it into your food processor. Two tablespoons of cocoa powder and start processing or blending those all together until it forms a really thick pasty fudge thing. Now I'm sure there must be an easier way to do this but I'm using my hands to mix the granola with the date paste and I didn't want to throw it into the food processor because I didn't want the granola to get all chopped up. So that's what I did until it was all mixed together. Then I used the food processor again to take some nuts and some of the granola as well. Process that together to form a little topping for your dainty paste thing. And I pressed it down using wax paper so it all formed together and there they are. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, they're all done. They were so delicious. Give you so much energy and they're good for you. No added sugar, no... Uh, preservatives, processes, it's all good. So I hope you guys like this video. Be sure to subscribe if you did and leave me a comment. So yeah, see you guys later.